I'm learning from my mistake. I just came back traveling a month ago to realize I was totally disorganized in the way of my bags, how I was packing, and all the gadgets I was missing out. So today I'm gonna to talk to you about the top Amazon products that I found that I'm going to use for traveling, and you should too. Hi, I'm Frederic. I'm here to help you to look stylish when you travel and to be a little bit more organized than me. <laughs> If you haven't done it yet, show me your love, click, 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 and you will have good luck for the rest of the week. So this is the Matein backpack in black, and it has a pocket at the front, a second one inside where you can slide everything you need, and then it's got another one, it's all protected on each side, but which I love, you can have a charging bank to recharge your thing. But my favorite is this pocket for the laptop and I'm gonna show you what it looks like with the laptop. So many pockets and my favorite, the anti-thief pocket at the back. This is where you're gonna put your money and as well probably your passport, I will say. It's quite comfortable, it's got a big handle at the top and I'm going to put stuff on it and see how it works. Okay, so this is the laptop I always travel with, even if I stay in Australia but travel around in Australia. Wow, plenty of room. I'm going to talk to you about this box next in the next two minutes. So this is it. Wow, so much room. I forgot to say as well, they are um, pockets on the side, so one can be for a bottle of water. It's elastic, so that's good. It's totally flexible. And then you got another one as well, maybe for an umbrella. And then here you can put your USB to charge as well your phone. You can put your phone here. I will not recommend to show your phone in public like that in a pocket, in, especially in the airport. But you can keep it in your hand. That's very handy. And I'm gonna see what it looks like on my back. I didn't even realize there's a secret pocket on the side when the zipper is hidden. Oh my gosh, this pack is really good. Let's see how it looks like. Sorry I'm wearing black, but... And I, ooh, okay. Not too big. My head is not hurting. It's actually very comfortable. It looks a bit flat here because I have not much into it. But it's perfect for a woman, by the way. I really like it and I can imagine even with a lot of weight. And then if you have your suitcase as well, the super handy one, you can, here's the secret pocket, you can slide it so that will be stay stable, especially standing up. I pick this color because black doesn't get dirty like a beige color, especially for a bag. It's gonna be on any type of X-ray carousel and things like that. I'm like, uh-uh. I'm going to personalize it with something looking cute, maybe a scarf or something, but this is now my bag for traveling. I don't even know how I travel with that. What you need is an electronic case for your handbag or for your backpack and it's so much inside so you can remove it's got like the scratch system so you can really changing the size i put the airpods the charger for my laptop <sighs> for the phone and of course when you need as well a power bank this is going to save your life because soon it's fully charged. You can charge your phone from anywhere. And from the backpack I just show you, you can also slide it into your backpack and charge it. I'm going to absolutely loving it. It's absolutely super, super compact. I didn't organize properly, but I will. I really love it. It's just so easy. This is gonna, gonna take no room in my backpack. And first of all, it's gonna help me to be clutter-free, have everything in one case. No more looking for the strings of everything. I've been there, ladies, highly recommend it. And the brand is from Sisma. I took in light gray, really like it. Depends where you travel, from which country or to which country, but some airports are very picky about the products you're putting in your handbag. This is why I decided to get those transparent patch. They're coming by pack of three, and actually they're super solid. I took them in black. They're extendable here, and you can put all your products, and then you don't have to empty everything to show that, you know, you're not a terrorist. I probably shouldn't have used this word, by the way. <laughs> but this is gonna be good as well to put any type of glasses, 
the foam, the perfume, anything, some moisturizer. I'm definitely gonna use that a lot, actually. It might be coming from another brand, but in Australia it's called Detol. So yes, it's still this time of the pandemic and everything, but it's nothing more dirtier than airports, planes. Sometimes the soap is not even working in the toilets, and when it does, the water is a bit funny. And I absolutely hate it because it's just like oh, I feel so dirty. This is the smallest size that I could find. They come back of three, and I'm just loving it because just with like two seconds, it doesn't stick. Easy to use, and you. Kim's, I'm hoping it's killing. Oh, it's burning one of my cut. It kills all the germs. And then maybe you can touch your food if you don't have time to go to the bathroom. Everybody should have one at least in their handbag or backpack. And that's a must have when you travel anywhere, even when you go to eat outside in some countries. And if you don't have access to the water, or even if you do, always protect your hands. What you need as well, I cannot travel without, is a passport organizer. So the one I'm showing you is not the one I order, but the delivery is delayed. Great for the video. So this is my old one. I've been using it for 10, 15 years. Getting really, really tired. This is when I'm changing it. But what you need is a big pocket to put your passports. And also, if you have this type of passport cover, yes, I have two passports. Do not use them because they hate it at the security. They don't want to have that. I give that once like that to the police or the custom and they say remove the cover and I'm thinking oh I'm learning my lesson even if you got a plastic patch like that never give to the police with the plastic patch always open it with your name on it and then put your boarding pass or any immigration paper they're asking so this is good what I love as well it's a zip pocket to put the change I always love having a pen because there always some papers to sign up and then sometimes I had band-aids. Actually, I have band-aids everywhere. <laughs> I like as well the back pocket of this one, but the one I'm going to show you on the screen is much better. It looks fancier as well. It's an easy access to the boarding pass. For the people who are traveling in a family, you have the traveling packs with different passport section. I don't need this one because I'm only me traveling, but this is a must have in your travel pack. Traveling doesn't mean you have to smell bad, okay? But if you like me, love wearing perfume, unless you're buying in duty free, that's the smallest size I could find in duty free. It's still a heavy bottle. And I thought I can't keep going to have something like that because to me, traveling, it's all about travel light. So I bought this little atomizer, little small perfume and it coming in pack of five. I don't need five and I thought I'm gonna give a try. So it's got the cheat sheet here, the spray and they said you just need to remove from your original perfume the top and they have a little thing at the back and I'm gonna see if it's working. So apparently you're just holding vertical, you're pumping pumping <laughs> you're pumping and apparently it's got a, oh wow it's got a little window so you can see the perfume it works perfectly and between this sweat and this sweat so it can work with any type of perfume wow perfect for your handbag even if you don't travel but why i didn't have that earlier Airlines are getting more and more strict about the weight of your luggages. And I don't know for you, I do not travel light, to be honest. But when I go to check-in, I'm always having this little anxiety. When I put my suitcase, you know, thing, tell me it's under 20 kilos, tell me it's under 20 kilos. So I decided to buy this gadget that everybody knows, but I'm like, oh. So it's to weight anything you want. It's digital, so you don't have to worry about the battery, but it's still rechargeable. But the back, or oh, change the battery by the back you can change it in kilos or in pounds it's just like a super super easy one but you know what no more stress of empty your suitcase in front of everybody and putting a tons of clothes just to light so i'm gonna see how my electric case is waiting and i'm gonna see wow it works well 900 grams i don't know if you can see it okay so no more stress now you're totally in control of the weight of your suitcase and it lights is i don't know how it waits but this is like less than the weight of a pen or something so if you don't get one get one <laughs> sometimes you can be in a plane they have no screen or no movies which happened to me last time even on a flight of six or two seven hours so i got my phone and i downloaded a couple of movies before obviously leaving my home for a netflix movies i thought oh two good movies gonna be enough but having the phone without 
any support sliding on the tablet drove me crazy. So I thought, hey, you know what? Does he exist? Yes, he does. Ah! It's called a phone holder for the plane and it's super easy. It's totally retractable so you can decide it, the size you want to put on the tablet and then you can have your phone like landscape and definitely watch, I don't know if you can see, watch your movie like that almost at the same level of your eyes. You put your headphones or your airpods and you're good. And I'm thinking, I need this. I'm so excited about it. No more discomfort and I can choose which movie I want to watch. If you're a light sleeper or you don't like to waking up with the bright light of the plane, usually I use a eye mask, but they're not made in good quality or they slide so I can see the light and I think, oh, this is not working. So again, doing a lot of research, I found this eye mask with so many reviews and I thought what it's about is give you totally blackout. They have as well a little metal piece here so that is adapting to your nose. You can as well decide the size because we don't have the same head. It's coming with a little patch, perfect to hook it inside of your bag. And I'm trying on and I'm going to try right, right now and I'm just adjusting on my nose and I can tell you <laughs> Maybe I look like an idiot, but you know what? I'm gonna sleep like a baby with some relaxing music in my ears. This is gonna be perfect. The most annoying thing when you travel is when you sit in such a long, long hours without moving and your legs are always in the same position and they're very heavy. Even if you put a bag under the seat in front of you and you barefoot, which I do not recommend in the plane and this is the former flight attendant who's saying that always wear socks and if possible shoes. It's so dirty in a plane, especially in a toilet. Guys, they don't know where to pee, really. Just don't go barefoot. Anyway, and I thought I need to find, and I was extremely uncomfortable last time, let's find a solution to elevate to my feet. And I find quite a few things, inflatable cushions, but I've seen the product. I thought, oh my gosh, this is so smart. It's a hammock for your feet. And I know it looks ridiculous. It's super easy, so it's quilted, so it's comfortable. But most important, it's super easy to use. So you got a strap, and whatever way you do it, you can block it at the back of the seat in front of you, it doesn't bother anyone. Or even with the tablet in front of you, don't break the tablet. And then you can really relax your feet. If you don't take the plane in a future weeks or months, you can get that as well for your desk. I'm so excited to try this product, you have no idea. And again, it's coming in a tiny, tiny pouch. And look, this is what the room is going to take in my bag, which is nothing, it's super light. I'm so excited and apparently it helps as well people not finishing the flight with giant legs and all inflated because all the blood's going there. But I read a lot of reviews, the only thing it might be an issue is for the people who are really tall because they don't have the space. But actually when you're really tall, usually when you're traveling outside of business, it's going to be an issue. But when you're short, <laughs> like me, this is heaven. Everything will be linked in my description. So I wish you a fabulous trip for Christmas or anywhere where you're going. Be super organized. All the things I order arrive within three days. So even if you have a last minute baggage, if you like this type of video, let me know by click, 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 click. Thank you so much. Give me a big thumbs up and share the love. Leave me a comment. Which one was really a mind blowing for you and you really think, oh my gosh, I need it. Let me know in the comment section. Until then, you take care. Give you a big kiss. I see you to the next video. Ciao, ciao.